Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. It is that time again for us to take a break from questing and have a day filled with nothing but party banter. Enjoy! Cassandra, who's Regalian? No one to concern yourself with. You were thinking about the time you... Now I'm thinking about something else. Can you guess? My hat wouldn't fit there. Could you be a little more gentle the next time we spar, Cassandra? Why? You can take it? Yes, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I did not realize you were made of glass. Bruised glass, thank you. Will you put your shield down? The light glinting off it pierces my eyes. Says the woman encrusted in crystals. They are fine quality crystals. Tell me, Iron Bull, is there anything I can do to assist you more effectively in combat? Uh, no, no, I'm good. You do so much fighting at the front. I would help, however I may. If my skills can weaken your opponents to make your fight easier, please let me know. Well, nobody fights well when their clothes are on fire, but honestly, I do really like the ice. Whatever works for you, though, ma'am. I'm always happy to help. Who would choose to build a castle out here? So many masks. At the ball. It's all Legion culture. Get used to it. Not at the ball. Here. How do you get the hair on your face? Look, ask Varric. He seems to have adopted you. He doesn't have hair on his face. Is it a mask? No, it's a beard. Look, if you were any other lad your age, I'd tell you that one day you'll probably grow on too. Except I don't know if spirits that become boys get beards. I could try. Right, you go do that then. Good luck. Have fun. Well, that's a fascinating odor. Hey Cole, say something interesting. Something interesting? Yes, I deserve that one. Could this place be more damp? I cannot place your fighting style, and I have studied the martial arts for years. It's... from everywhere. I traveled a lot in my youth. That stench. It's everywhere, isn't it? You could have been one of the Chargers, Blackwall. You've got the stature, the attitude. And you'd be my boss. Hey, I'm a great boss. I'm a firm believer in No Pants Fridays. I'd rather fight for a cause. Hey, No Pants Fridays is a cause. That whetstone you lent me, it produces a remarkable edge. Celestine Black, they call it. It's the only stone I'll use on my blades. You know what? Keep it. I'll find another. Thank you. That's very kind. Stay on guard. This bog is infested with all manner of creatures. So, Bull, how does it feel to be Talvashoth? Stings a bit. Thanks for asking. It's a difficult thing you've done, turning your back on one life to live another. You could look at it as opening a way forward, not closing the way back. Thanks. I appreciate the advice. In any event, you have the charges. You haven't lost everything. Yeah. I think I'm good. Reminds me of the Donarchs, actually. Just much, much colder. A hey, furrows. What? Me? Yes. Furrows between the eyes, moping, lost in your own issues. Can't a man think without being judged for it? I'm not judging. I was gonna say you're pretty good at it. I can pull that off. A tragedy, for sure. And I mean, if you're going to brood, you might as well reap the benefits. What benefits? The ladies. <sighs> What's that smell? Oh, on second thought, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Don't the horns make it hard to lie down? How do you sleep? Soundly, while propped up on a bed of oiled, writhing virgins. The mud wants my feet to stay. Sounds like joining the Grey Wardens is like following the Kuhn. How, do you think? Service. Hard work for a good cause, always knowing where you fit in, what you have to do. I suppose I see the similarity when you put it like that. Little surprised I got there before you did, big guy. 
We will want to launder our clothes later. Or burn them. So how does being a Grey Warden work? I assume it's more complicated than just signing up. Yes. And how is it that you're the only ones who can end the Blights? Is there a reason for the interrogation? Curiosity. The Ben Hasrath could know more about the Wardens. Also, those ogre guys, the darkspawn that look like messed up Kunari. The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased. Few are. Be wary. The undead can attack at any time. What is that awful smell? Do you use spirits as servant Solus? You'd have no trouble capturing them. No. They are intelligent living creatures. Binding them against their will is reprehensible. How much will do they have? They're amorphous constructs of the Fade. Hmm. There's no harm in putting them to constructive use. And most mages back home treat them well. And any that show magical talent are freed, are they not? What? S spirits don't have magical talent? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about your slaves. I'm surprised you don't wear heavier armor on your blind side. If I did that, I'd just be telling people where to hit me. As it is, every half-decent fighter sees the eye and thinks he can faint, then come in with a low stab. Then I'd chop his head off. It's like a gimme. <laughs> that can't work every time. It doesn't, but taking a blade to the ribs is a pretty good teacher. Solus, that little flare you sometimes do with your staff, you're redirecting ambient energy to your personal aura? Yes, the effect clears excess magical energy and creates a minor randomized barrier to impair income in magic. Fascinating. It's a Tevinta technique. I've never seen anyone in this part of the world do it. The technique is not Tevinta. It is Elven. Oh, that means we... Uh, never mind then. But do go on about the wonders of Tevinta magic. A village like this once hired the Chargers to deal with some bandits. It was the early days, just me and Krem and five others. We must have killed 50 bandits. Asshole villagers tried to pay us in rice. Let's be watchful. I understand this country's full of dogs. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Dirty. Vishanta Kafas, I meant your weapon. Maker, this place needs a good tailor. It's simply appalling. Easy to understand why people turn into bandits if the nobles don't protect you from crap like this. <sighs> now I see why they wear so much fur. Iron Bull, stop picking at that scab or it won't heal properly. I know, but the scar will look amazing. You see, it already sort of looks like a wyvern's... <sighs> I'll just put the bandage back on now. Sorry, ma'am. Thank you, darling. Ferelden has failed the villagers of Crestwood. They deserve better. I wonder what sort of eye patch we should get you. I think gold inlaid with glowing lyrium and amethysts. Oh. Hadn't thought of it like that, ma'am. Assisting these people will improve the Inquisition's reputation, my dear. Just don't let them touch you with their grubby hands. You're weird, Bull. You have all this Kyun stuff, but you think Andraste is confusing. I think you're confusing. How can you just pick and choose what parts you believe in? There's real, and there's really real. Or, as normal people would say, real and not real. I know what I said. I do. I think I figured out how you fight, Sarah. Good for you. You don't actually like thinking about hurting people, do you? Chopping them down? Making the blood spray. It's not the hurting, it's the parts. Right, so if we hack them up, you have to do it without thinking about it. So? I don't know. I thought it was interesting. I don't need to think about what I do. I do what I do. Without the demons everywhere, this place would be sort of quaint. So, Sarah, a few fights ago, there was this one guy I had his leg wounded, his shield down. Oh, him, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. See, I had him. I was winding up for the killing blow and everything. You didn't need to take him. I wanted to see if I could get him without hitting you. What I'm saying is, please stop stealing my kills, Sarah. That's not a thing. Get faster. All right. You're not stealing, you're helping. Kill helping, that's fine. 
<sighs> Wait, Bull, all that rot you said about hacking people. Yeah? You do like it. Oh, yes. Finding someone who needs killing and just taking them apart. Brutally, skillfully, so their last living thought is realizing that I'm stronger and smarter than they are. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's weird. I didn't say it was healthy. Look, I can either press those feelings down until I snap and hurt someone I care about, or we can go find some bad guys who need to die. Right. Bring on the baddies. Sometimes it seems this land is a collection of tragedies, one piled atop another. So, ma'am, what does the Circle know about Phaedrus and such? Very little. No mage of the Circle had encountered anything like this before the Breach. Well, that's reassuring. I see the Ferelden monarchy is as quick to act as ever. So, ma'am, with respect, all that crap at Halamshral made sense to you? Of course. Florian's motives were unfortunate, but hardly inscrutable. But how does Orle work with all the nobles screwing each other over like that? I mean, give Corypheus credit. If we hadn't stopped him, he'd have brought down the whole empire. Then it is fortunate that we did stop him. We should drag the knobs in Val Royale out here, see how they do. What is it with people who just wait for some sign of trouble to turn to banditry? You think they sit around sharpening axes and waiting for disasters? That's some hobby. How do you make them calm? Who, oh, kid? Everyone. You talk and the fear fades, slipping to sleep. Not always happy, but not angry. Well, most people are like cats. They either puff up to look dangerous or they crouch down and hope you don't see them. You show them you're not a victim or a threat, and they're in your lap and purring before you know it. Cats swat my feet, even when no one can see me. That explains a lot. Everyone, look away. I need to find a place to pee. Could you be more of an embarrassment in what the Inquisitor and I are trying to accomplish? Everyone look over here. Vivian needs to pee. You don't have to be afraid, Sarah. I won't hurt you. I won't stab you when you're looking somewhere else. I won't do that to your boots. Or that other thing to your arrows. I don't understand what that last thing is, but I won't do it either. It's like its face doesn't know what it's saying. Ugh. Aren't you rather wealthy to be dirtying your hands like this, Varric? Nobody told me there was a cutoff. Besides, Iron Lady, you're no poorer than me. I just don't see any profit that would motivate a member of the Merchant's Guild to fight. I don't know. Not being killed by rampaging demons seems as good as gold to me. Have we been here? I mean, right here, doing exactly this. It feels weird. Yes, but not how you mean. In the soft, thin places, spirits push with memories that didn't happen, or did, or might. Before the door is open, they could let the cat out and it would always be alive. Shut it up. You know what I love about this place? Pretty much nothing. Sarah, no matter how you turn your head, your ears point to the Fade. Do you do it on purpose? Why does it keep talking at me? Well, blighted sand. How novel. Okay, kid. Try it again like we practiced. Two pairs beats one pair. Four of a kind beats two pairs. She slips the Ace of Dragons into a thigh-high boot, calls to the barman for another round. Blondie stares at the table, angry, always angry. Focus, kid. You can't beat four of a kind with bad memories. Where wandered wastes we walked with woes. <laughs> or something. Do they ever stop talking to you? Nouns, kid? Does who ever stop talking to me? The people in your head. They aren't real, but they have voices and thoughts, and sometimes you see through their eyes. If they stopped, I wouldn't have to write so much. You were happy at the Winter Palace, Vivienne. Your point, demon? You were still sharp, but happy. Golden, glittering, everything gleamed. Rules that let you win. One does not wish to brag. That's why you're happier being a noble than a mage. You fear demons, not people. People can only kill you. 
Gown perfect, shoes perfect, hat perfect, staff a symbol, not a weapon. My room, my people, mine. Out, please. This is when I appreciate learning the magic to prevent sunburn on a bald head. Nugs are kind. Almost everything is bigger than they, but they're still happy. If you hold out your hand, they will nuzzle it. It's how they call you friend. Remember, Inquisitor, the harmless-looking ones are always the most dangerous. Nugs aren't dangerous. I was not referring to Nugs. The Veil is weaker here. Odd that we have not seen more rifts. I don't understand Selene and Gaspard. I shall try to suppress my shock. There's no hurt. Nothing there touched you. Did you expect me to get misty-eyed over who rose to glory and who paid the price, demon? It is the game. No matter what transpired at the Winter Palace, I took steps to strengthen my position. How do you make a game that you always win? Practice. So in your books, the stuff with the spies is all wrong. If only I'd had you around to consult. That blue swan flies at midnight stuff doesn't work. Most times, you pass information on a dead drop. No meetings at all. Ah, where's the drama in that? Oh, can't you mess up the realism of something else? Like lyrium smuggling. No respectable people would come out here. No wonder the Grey Wardens took up residence. You're not the first Ben Hazreth I've run across. Hawk and I went on a caper with one named Talus. You don't say. She caused us no end of trouble. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Hey, one time I ran into this dwarf on the road. Short, grouchy. You think you might know him? I'm in the Merchant Guild. Ten Royal says I not only know him, he owes me money. Oh, well, no, I don't know Talus. Sorry. Watch yourself, my dear. You can become parched easily, even in the cold. Is the Kuhn some kind of big secret? How come no Kunari I've met will explain it even slightly? It's not a secret. It's just too big for a quick chat. Tell me about the Kuhn is like saying tell me about economics. Most Kunari know just enough to get by. It's like blind dwarves trying to figure out a dragon by touch. Only the priests really have the whole picture, and they spend their whole lives figuring that crap out. Well, I'll leave them to it then. Hey, don't most dwarves have beards? Or at least mustaches, or something? I make up for it elsewhere. This was home to empires and great rituals, until it all fell. You're a damn fine marksman. How do you manage that while staring up at everyone's ass the whole time? In a world of tall people, you find ways to keep them from tripping over you. You ever get the asses mixed up? If I do, Tiny, you'll be the first to know. Must be important for anyone to come here. How could you possibly be a spy? Well, it's a pretty easy job. I do some fighting and drinking, and then once in a while I tell Parvalen about it. Where's the sneaking, the, the plotting, the subtle machinations? If you do that, everyone knows you're a spy. Drinking, fighting, writing notes. That's all it really takes. Shit. You're either the worst Kunari ever or the best. I can't decide. It's easier to forget here. You doing all right, Bull? I heard you breathing a little hard after the last fight. <sighs> Long exercises. Clearing the stale humors. It's a Kuhn thing. Uh-huh. Hey, some of us have to swing a giant hunk of metal instead of pulling our girlfriend's trigger from the back ranks. Ouch! Too close to home. No, no, that, that was good. I should find some way to work that into my next book. All right, but it was my line. You're gonna credit me in the acknowledgements, right? More desert. Just what I wanted. Your knife is big. <laughs> it's a sword. It's bigger than mine. And now you've made it awkward. The sand just scours the moisture right out of you, doesn't it? We played by the fire so she would be warm. No, it's summer, Liddy. This thing you do. Maybe you should stop doing it? Got her a flower, but they'd taken her. Left it on her bed, next eight on the sill. Tawny sands, a garden seat, five to Chantry altars, one to a child with her hair. The sea? Too many to count. 
and thirty-six tossed off the battlements today. Go bother Solus. You have many feelings. I'm sorry she died. Why would anybody come here? Come to think of it, why did we? Next sandstorm we see, I'm naming it Gerard. Travel far enough south. You reach the Gamodan Peaks and then the Sundered Sea. Not a popular route. Did you see the look on those nobles' faces back at the Winter Palace, Chuckles? They seemed unaccustomed to seeing elves without servants' livery, or dwarves at all. <laughs> Priceless. That's definitely going in my next story. Are you planning a chapter filled with courtly intrigue? Close. I need to describe the face someone makes when they choke down something terrible. Like, I've got to ask, what's with Kunari and their swords? That's just the warriors. Ben Hasrath used whatever tools right for the job. Besides, didn't you name your crossbow after a woman? Eh, point taken. Still waiting for me to do something sneaky and spy-like? I'll see magical dwarves flying through the sky before that happens. Good, because I'm supposed to ask about your friend Isabella. See? And I still can't tell if you're shitting me. Sometimes you're so canary it makes my head hurt. I traveled here once. I nearly died from lack of water. More desert. Just what I wanted. Blasted sand. It's everywhere and gets in everything. <coughs> the wind is a bit... sandy, isn't it? You know, Seeker, for someone with your tact and charisma, you assembled a pretty good little inquisition. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt in assuming you didn't drag them all here by force. How kind of you. I mean, you never know. You could have kidnapped Ruffles and she'd be too polite to say anything. Liliana recruited Josephine. They're friends. So there's a rational explanation after all. Just when I thought you had layers. So you can make people not see you, Cole. Can you do that for other people? Yes. It makes me tired and doesn't work if they're loud or angry or bright. Hmm. What about things? Can you make people ignore an object? Maybe. Like what? Oh, I don't know. A, a book or a box or a crate or a, or a wagon full of crates? Dwarf. I'm just asking. I wonder what this all looked like before the war. So much pain. It wore down the walls. They say your family almost drove the dragons to extinction. A shame. Majestic beasts. Majestic? Say that after you see a pile of dragon shit bigger than your house. There's not much here, is there? Perhaps that's why it was given to the elves. Says a lot about the ones doing the giving. When you charge at them, you make them hit you. Ideally. That's why my armor's heavier than yours. It's telling how quickly even the most peaceful area can descend into chaos. Why did they have to fight? Are they losing their minds in Tevinter? I bet they are. About anything in particular? The Inquisition? I mean, you people believe weird stuff, right? About Andraste. Most of the Imperial Chantry's teachings are the same as in the South, despite some finicky bits about magic. The parts where you're wrong. Yes, quite. The parts where we're wrong. And that wraps up today's party banter video. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age Inquisition video.